Okay friends, the first thing we're going to do is color our hand in. So we're going to choose a skin tone color. So I'm going to go in and find either peach or brown. I have this peach here. And I'm going to go in first. And when I'm doing this, I want to go with the shape. So I want to curve with the shape of the hand. So I'm going to go around the fingers first. Trace around the fingers, then fill it in. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this finger. Trace around it, then fill it in. My fingers, I want to go in the middle of my hand. So notice, friends, that I'm pushing kind of hard on that crayon, and I don't see any of the white paper showing through. Keep going on top, doing layers. We want opaque colors. When I say opaque, that means they're solid. They're not see-through. So now I'm going to go around my thumb. Okay, now that I have all my fingers done, I'm going to start to outline the rest of that hand. Fill in the middle and then get down to my wrist. If you have a wrist, you want to fill that in. So go ahead and fill the rest of your hand. Different directions with that crayon. Keep layering on top. Art takes time. Okay, great, my friends. So now my hand is colored. Notice I don't have any white areas showing through. That color is nice and vibrant. Any color you would like, we're going to start to now fill in our circles. So I'm outlining the circle of my flower and filling it in. So outline the shape first. You can change the color for each center. Outlining that circle first, then filling it in. Again, notice how the colors are nice and opaque. So now I'm going to go in and do my petals. Any colors you want, just outline that shape, go around the shape, then fill it in. today if you have nails you need to color in go ahead and do that if you need a bracelet or a ring you would like to color you can also use the time to do that the background in my project the area behind my object or my drawing is not colored and we will be doing something for that later 